the field of eight for this final, particularly the name right at the bottom. And there she is in lane nine for Poland, the six-time world champion, the two-time Paralympic champion and the 1500 meters champion here, Barbara Biganowska. In lane eight, also for Poland, first major championship. She's gone through a lot to be here on the start line, Justyna Franitsa. In lane seven for Ukraine, silver in the 400 meters in last year's European Championships, it's Yulia Shulia. In lane six for the United States, the reigning world and Paralympic champion. She holds all the records as well for the United States, Brianna Clark. In lane five for Portugal, the reigning European champion of Sporting Club de Portugal, Karina Pine. In lane four for Thailand, fourth in the 400 meters, fifth in the 1500 meters in last year's Asian Para Games, Arawan Kaising. In lane three for Japan, silver in the 400 meters at those Asian Para Games, Aimi Toyama. And in lane two for Poland, silver in the 400 meters at the 2016 Europeans in Grosseto and fourth in Berlin at last year's Europeans, Sabina Stanska Szymanska of the Start Szczecin Club. So three for Poland. One each for Japan, Thailand, Portugal, Ukraine, and the United States. Stenska, Szymanska in two, Toyama three, Kaising four, Paimon five, Clark in six, the world record holder. Julia seven, Franitek in eight, Barbara Biganowska of Poland in lane nine. The intellectual category T20, the final of the women's 400 meter. They're away, Clark going off really well in lane six, really the woman they all have to beat. Biganowska, so dominant over 800, 1500 meters on the outside, but look at Clark go. She's passed everybody already with only about 150 meters gone. And Clark still going and still going. 55.99, a world record set 18 months ago in the United States in Tempe. Julia is moving up really well for Ukraine and the European champion Karina Pime as well. And there's a huge gap between those three and the rest. The Poles, Franicek and Biganowska in eight and nine are immediately behind them. But it's Brianna Clark leading for the United States. And she is world clear in this T20 final. The European champion Karina Pime moving up, fighting with Julia. But it's all about Brianna Clark. It's going to be very fast. 56-36, just outside a championship record. Julia in second, Pyme in third. But Brianna Clark absolutely dominating that. 56-35, and she successfully defended a title. It's party time. And Clark's done it again. Julia in second place, and Pyme moved up for third. One by 1.7 seconds in the end, and the rest. Even Julia in the silver medal position had difficulties in keeping a pine with the bronze medal, and that is her first global podium spot. Likewise for Julia in her first global event. But Brianna Clark remains the hottest property in this 400 meters T20 going into Tokyo. What a start, and the rest wasn't bad either. Four Clark, Pime, on her inside, had to view her back all the way through. And by that stage, that was barely 150 meters into it, and she was beyond everybody. She'd taken up the stagger straight away. And it was her against the clock. She got the gold. 
Kaising very close to fourth, by the way. Lifetime best for Shulia in second place, season's best for Clark. 56-33, her championship record from London when she first took this title, and she was two hundredths off that tonight. In the women's shot put F33 final, alongside the 100 meter start. Great victory Lucia for Clark. Kornibis of Poland has just moved up into second place. And what a winning margin. We've seen six. bigger winning margins tonight over this distance. But Krimanov. equally dominant was she. Brianna Clark takes the gold for the United States. Silver for Ukraine, Julia Schuller.